Hey, hey everyone, I'm Stephanie Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today I'm going to show you how to create an RGB effect combined with displacement using the effects found in the Teco One Style Kit in Premiere Pro. Now if you're not familiar with Rampant Style Kits, head on over to RampantStyleKits.com and check out all the amazing packs that Rampant has put together for your video needs. Everything from emojis all the way to business kits, Rampant has your video style needs covered. It's super easy to use them and I'm going to show you how. And like I mentioned at the beginning, this is all about how to create an RGB effect combined with displacement using the effects in Teco One in Premiere Pro. So let's jump over to Premiere and get started. Now before I begin, I want to point out that this Tech 01 tutorial is part of the training series for the Tech 01 Style Kit. This tutorial is the most advanced tutorial of the series. If you have not seen the other tutorials for Tech 01, I definitely recommend checking those out before following along with this tutorial. This tutorial is going to be using the displacement techniques I have shown in the other training series videos, and I will also show you how to add an RGB effect to add another layer of glitchy fun to your video. So let's get started. And the very first thing we have to do is we have to import our effects into our project. How do we do that? It's really simple. We go up to File, you go to Import, you find where your files are stored and you say Import. You can do it that way, or if you're like me, I like to go where, they're, where all my files are living, I like to highlight them all, I like to drag them in and put them on my project that way. Either way, it works for me. Just import those video files into Premiere and you're ready to start. All right, now let's talk about our project. We are working in an HD project right now. This eye right here is on a 1920 by 1080 timeline. All of our effects are gonna be 4K, so keep that in mind because you'll have lots of room to play with position, scale, resizing, and all that stuff. All right, so here's our video. Let's start creating our RGB effect first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this video and I'm going to make a copy of three different pieces. So I'm just gonna copy it three times. So I'm gonna hold down option, I'm gonna drag up and I'm gonna make three copies. Okay, this is gonna be our RGB, so red, green, blue layer. And what I'm gonna do before I start working with any of the color, I'm gonna take all of these layers, I'm gonna make a nest so I can isolate them all together in one big group. All right, so now I can click on my nested sequence and now I'm not worrying about anything else. I'm just worrying about my color for my RGB split, okay? Now making an RGB split is really, really simple. All we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to our effects panel and we're gonna type in the word color balance. So C-O-R-B-B-A-L-A-N-C-E. -E. And the color balance that you're gonna be looking for has an RGB at the end. So it's pretty easy to find. So look for color balance RGB and you're gonna add this to every single layer. So layer one, layer two, layer three. They should all have this purple effects symbol on it. Just make sure you have them all uh, with the color balance. Okay, so it's pretty simple. I'm gonna start with the red layer, which is gonna be RGB, so it keeps it really nice and organized. So red, we're gonna make the red be 100, and then we're gonna say zero for the green and zero for the blue. So you're gonna see the red layer. And then we're gonna do the same thing for the green, so zero. 100 and then zero again, right? That's green, you won't be able to see it, but just bear with me and do the exact same thing for the blue. So zero, zero, and then 100 for the blue. All right, perfect. Now what we need to do to see the layers underneath, we're gonna change the blend mode. So I'm gonna go back to my red layer and I'm gonna change this blend mode from normal to add. And I'm gonna change the green layer from normal to add. And I'm gonna leave my blue layer alone right now because you're gonna see what's gonna happen. Now right now it doesn't look like anything's happening, but it is, trust me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move the position. And we're gonna take our X position of our red layer and I'm gonna move it around, see that? Whoa. All right, and I'm gonna leave the middle layer alone because it's fine and I'm gonna move the blue layer on the bottom. And I'm gonna make it so that I can see the yellow just like that. And there's our RGB split. Super simple, super easy, and we're good to go. All right, very simple. All right, let's go back to our main timeline. So here's our RGB split eye, which plays just like it should. Now what we wanna do is I wanna add some glitch to this. So we're gonna add some displacement just to give it some, some kind of some cool, because what I wanna do, I'm gonna move this down. I wanna give it some cool, I want it to go from this regular eye to this RGB split eye. Well, how do we do that? Well, we're gonna add one of our mats. So let's go to our project. Let's click on our animated mats and I'm gonna pull them up here so we can see them. And here are all of our mats, and there's some really cool animations in here. Very, very neat. I'm looking for, I'm gonna be using this number eight, which looks like this. If I can double click it and pull it up. See how glitchy that is? It's pretty nice. So I'm gonna grab that, I'm gonna drag it on top of my nested sequence, okay? Now the very first thing I wanna do, these are 4K, so I'm gonna scale to frame size. Feel free to come back to your effect controls and play with the scale manually if you would like to. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna say right click, 
scale to frame size. Okay, so now if I play this through, you'll see this mat coming across the uh, RGB split. Now we want this RGB split inside these white boxes. To do that, we're gonna add a track mat. So I'm gonna go to my effects, I'm gonna tr type in track, T-R-A-C-K, and I'm gonna drag my track mat key to my nested sequence. Make sure you don't put your track mat key on your effect, make sure you put it on your video layer. So my track mat is here, so let's go to our effect controls and tell our track mat that our, our mat is laying on video layer four. All right, now you can see right there, the RGB split is now inside that white box and outside the white box is the regular video. Perfect, so now if we play that through, Okay, did you see how it starts with the, with the, right here, it's the regular eye, and if I go frame by frame, you'll see there's the RGB split. So it gives you this really cool looking uh, glitchy RGB split, and then at the end, it's gonna go completely to RGB split, which is what we want. Okay, so that's a pretty cool effect, really simple, using our mats, and we're done. All right, now I wanna add another layer of complexity here to this uh, eye, and I want to make another copy of my eye. So I'm going to hold down Option and drag up another copy up here. So now I have a fresh copy, and I want to add a color effect to this. So I'm going to add a black and white effect. So I'm just going to type in Lumetri. Oops, bloop. I cannot spell Lumetri presets. And I'm going to add in, actually, let's just go, let's add a color effect. That's better. Let's just go video effects, color correction. Let's do a creative effect. There it is and then go to creative and go down here to like a black and nice black and white. Okay, that's beautiful. And then I wanna make this be glitchy inside of, we don't wanna lose all this awesome RGB split stuff that we have down here created. So let's put a mat on top of that. So let's go to our animated mats and let's look for a cool one. And there's some really neat things down here. I like these ones that just sort of pop on. Like this one's really neat. So let's go ahead and grab that, drag it down top of our black and white layer. And again, this is a 4K file, so I can move it around. I can rescale it. And I want my black and white to sort of just pop over down here on the corner. So let's do it like right here, all right? And well, what I also want this to do is I want my black and white to be scaled up a little bit so it has like a displacement z -z kind of look like the eye is gonna move around. So let's move the eye a little bit. Now to make this have a track map, we have to separate all of those effect changes that we just made. So the the scale changes, the position and everything. To do that, we're gonna create a nest, and then we're gonna add our track mat to our nested sequence. So type in T-R-A-C-K, put our track mat on our nested sequence, and then go tell our track mat where that's living, and it's living on layer seven. Look at that. So now we have, not only do we have this eye that's regular eye at the beginning, then it's gonna have the RGB split eye, and then it's gonna have this like really crazy looking black and white scaled in displaced eye that sort of pops in towards the middle, okay? And if we want this to be gone, all we need to do is shrink up this to match that mat, and then it will go back to our RGB split eye. All right, let's see what that looks like. Let me rewind this whole thing and we'll check it out. All right, I'm gonna play that through. All right, that is so cool looking, and how easy was that? That was so easy to do. All right, so now we have the basis of our all of our glitches and our dis displacement and our RGB split. That was really easy. Now if we wanna add some more of our animated elements on top of this to sort of spice it up, we can do that. So let's go back to our project. Let's open up our animated elements box and I'm gonna pop this up here again so you can see it. And we're gonna zoom in a little bit. And these, these are some really cool stuff on here. And let's first, let's, let's look for the circle for the eye, right? Let's go ahead and drag that on top of everything. And here it is, we have this circle coming across like this. And it's a little slow on the animation, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed this up, so I'm gonna right click, hit speed, probably let's make it like 400%, let's give it, make it a little faster, and we definitely wanna shrink it up. So now we have this really cool animation that's coming across her eye. I love the way that looks. I'm also gonna change the blend mode of this, so let's go back to our effect controls. I wanna blend this in a little bit more so it looks a little more natural, that looks awesome. So now if we rewind that and play that through, we have this really cool eye effect that's going on with this animation. I love the way that looks. And I think what I like, I really like how it's blending in, especially with the eyelashes, but it's not really bright enough for me. So I'm gonna hold down option and I'm gonna make a couple copies until it looks a little brighter. I may actually make one more copy 
and that looks pretty good. So it's still, you can still see the eyelashes through, but it's a little more noticeable. I love that. Okay, so we just added animated elements on top of our RGB split and our displacement and our mats. It looks awesome. Let's add a couple more animated elements in there just to finish it off. So let's go back to our animated elements bin right here. Nope, not mats, elements, here we go. And there are some really cool line, animated lines in here. I'm gonna go ahead and find those. Like these right here. All right, so these are really neat. And I'm gonna look at this one right here because it has these, these uh, bullseye kind of things, which is kind of like what we're doing here for the eye. So let's go ahead and drag this on top of all of our stuff. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the speed. I'm gonna speed it up, so speed duration. Let's change that to 300 and then let's shrink it up. And of course, this is 4K, so we can go back to the effect controls and we can uh, work with the scale. So let's scale it down some so that it fits into our frame. And then I'm gonna move it down towards the bottom like that. And let's go ahead and change the opacity or the blend mode to overlay. That looks pretty cool. It's still kind of standing out. Let's move it down, make it a little bit smaller. Yeah, like that looks really cool. And then let's change the opacity. Make sure if you remember when you're changing the opacity, turn off your stopwatch, otherwise it'll leave a keyframe. So let's just turn that down so you can't really, so it's, I still want the bullseye here to be the most noticeable, but I still like these little elements down here. That's awesome. And why not, let's go ahead and add one on the top. So let's hold down option, copy that same clip. And then all we need to do now is reposition uh, the Y so it's at the top and one's at the bottom. All right, and that looks pretty cool. Let's rewind this and play it through again. Okay, we played that through. And look at that, that looks so awesome. Let's watch it again. And that was created in a matter of seconds. I mean, that really didn't take us that long at all. I love the way this looks. And that's that. Pretty cool, pretty, pretty cool. All right, that's the end of this tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and run through this RGB split really fast, just in case you guys missed it. Um, if you wanna end the tutorial here, that's fine, but let me go through the RGB split one more time. So if you have your video clip right here, okay, and you wanna create an RGB split, all you need to do is make three copies. So hold down option, make three copies. If you were doing this over here in your sequence, like I said, you would wanna nest it so you can separate it out from everything else. But once you have your three copies here, you're gonna go over to your effects, you're gonna type in the word color balance, so C-O-L-O-R, balance, and you're looking for color balance, balance RGB, okay? Color balance RGB, and you're gonna drag this to each one of your layers. So layer one, layer two, and layer three, all right? So then from here, you're gonna to go to your effect controls and you're gonna change your RGB according to what layer it is. So the red layer is gonna be 100 and everything's gonna be zero. Your green layer is gonna be zero, 100, zero. And then your blue layer is going to be zero, zero, and 100, okay? Remember right now you can't see anything, so you're gonna to have to add a blend mode to your first two layers. So your red layer is gonna be added to add, and your green layer is going to be taken to add as well. Now everything looks normal because now you have your three layers blended together correctly. So all we need to do is offset these. I like to do the first and the last, so I take my red, move my red over a little bit, and I take my blue, and I move my blue over a little bit. Okay, that's your RGB split, really simple, really easy, really easy to do, and it's a cool technique. And that's that. Now you know how to create an RGB effect combined with displacement using the effects found in the Tech01 Style Kit. Like I mentioned at the beginning, this tutorial is part of a training series for Tech01, so check out all the links in the description for more easy to follow techniques. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Once again, this is Stephanie Mullen with RampantDesignTools.com. Thanks for watching.